Welcome back, Rich Mice. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be five signs they're beating themselves up over what they did to you. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, y'all. They devastated. Let me say it one more time louder for the chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, this video is based upon all the signs of how you know they are beating themselves up over what they did to you. Somebody drop in the comments and say they devastated. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say they are devastated, okay? So I came to deliver this message to y'all, but y'all already know how we do. Y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel, okay? Listen, y'all, we're about to go ahead and get to the first sign of how you know they are beating themselves up over what they did to you. It's gonna be this, y'all. They're trying to prove a point, all right? Let me say it one more time, y'all. Lot of for the people in the back, okay? Listen, they are trying to prove a point. What do you mean by that, Reno? They trying to prove a point to their mama, to their daddy, to your mama, to, to your daddy, right? They trying to prove a point to your friends. They are just simply trying to prove a point. Why? Because they was wrong. Somebody drop in the comments and say you was wrong. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say you was wrong. Now, since they are trying to prove this point, that's a clear indication that what they did to you, they know it was wrong. What they did to you, they know they should not have done it. What they did to you, they know that if it was them on the flip side, it would have hurt them too. So what they're trying to do is prove a point to themselves, right? They're actually going insane. Okay, and I don't mean like literally they're crazy, losing their brain, losing their mind, going insane. What I'm saying is, y'all, Einstein had this quote. He says, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. That is insanity. All right, so Rena, what do you mean by that? They are literally trying to prove themselves right over and over and over again, knowing that they wrong. They going insane. All right. And so what I want you to understand is, y'all, they actually are devastated for what they did to you. All right. They are beating themselves up because they let a good person go. They are beating themselves up because they know what they did was wrong. OK, so I want you to understand this, y'all. They are actually beating themselves up. And the clear indication and a big sign, y'all, is that they are trying to prove a point. You may see them get a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend. You may see them just posting pictures, acting like they living their best life. You may see them acting like they traveling. You may see them acting like they just living it all up. I mean, they just living it all up. They got shrimp steak and pasta, shrimp steak and lasagna. I mean, they got the whole nine, y'all. Right, but in actuality, they are beating themselves up because of what they did to you. All right, somebody drop in the comments and say you gonna pay. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say you gonna pay. All right. So I want y'all to realize something. They are trying to prove a point to everybody around them, y'all mutual friends, people they don't even know. They're trying to prove a point because they are beating themselves up over what they did to you. They are devastated. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next one, y'all, which is number two, all right? The second sign that they are beating themselves up is gonna be this, y'all. They can't lick you in the face. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for the people in the back. They can't look you in your face. Ooh. Now, see, this right here is powerful, y'all, because you know when a person has done you wrong, they can't lick at you. You know when a person has done wrong by you, they try to avoid you. Y'all drop in the comments below and let me know if that was you, right? When a person done you wrong and they try their hardest to avoid you. They try their hardest not to look at you in the eye. Listen, y'all, I was raised like this. A man, okay, or woman, give a firm handshake and look you in the eye. But when a person can't do that, number one, you can't trust them. But number two, they don't believe in themselves. Number three, that type of person, you just got to exile out all the way around, right? Uh, whatever the case is, but I want you to realize something, y'all. They can't look you in your face. Why? Because of what they did to you. <laughs> they devastated. Looking at you is like looking at a reflection. Y'all ever seen the movies, y'all, when a person probably had killed somebody, and when they close their eyes at night and they start dreaming, they start seeing the person who they killed, huh? 
of the person that, you know, they did harm to. They start seeing that individual in their dreams. Y'all ever seen them movies, y'all? Well, that's very similar to this situation right here, y'all. They can't look you in your face or in your eyes because they know what they did. They're having flashbacks. Yes, sir. They are having flashbacks, y'all. So right here, I have a scripture that actually kind of proves this point, y'all. It says right here in Galatians chapter 5, verse 25, it says right here, y'all, if we live in spirit, let us also walk in spirit. Okay? Once again, y'all, Galatians chapter 5, verse 25, it says, if we live in spirit, let us also walk in spirit. Brenda, what are you saying right now? See, those who are your wrongdoers, those who have done unrighteous things to you, those who are, you know, betrayed you and did all these different things to you, those people, they not walk in the spirit, but you are. And see, sometimes, y'all, when you have a discerning spirit, you got a strong spirit. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I have a strong spirit. See, that's why a lot of people can't be around you, too, because you got a strong spirit. A lot of people won't be able to be around you when you have a strong spirit. Why? Because you can feel things, you know these things. They can feel you too, right? And that's why they got to get away, you know, from that person. That's y'all ever seen, you know, on the movies or even in real life when they have a pastor. And this, I'm just using this as an example, but when they have a pastor, you know, people don't like to be around a pastor. Why? Because that pastor got a strong spirit. They don't like to be around that preacher, y'all, because he gonna call you out on your BS. Oh yeah, his his real is his real is going to expose your faith. Right? Somebody drop in the comments and say I'm too real. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say I'm too real. See, what I'm simply saying, y'all, is this right here. You are walking in the spirit and they are not. And so that spirit is within inside you and you exposing them every time, y'all. Okay? Understand this, y'all. They can't look you in your face because of what they've done. But in actuality, y'all, it's because really they are beating themselves up. They can't take that beating no more. They tired. They are tired, y'all. And so I want you to understand that and realize that, y'all. They are tired. Just to give you clarity, a clear indicator that they are beating themselves up over what they did to you. It's going to be this, y'all. They can't lick you in your face. They avoid you. Okay? By all means, avoid whoever it is, y'all. They avoid you. Okay? And so with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and move forward to number three. Okay? So the third sign of how you know they are beating themselves up over what they did to you, it's going to be this, y'all. They failed tremendously. Oh, yeah. They failed tremendously. Okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say you failed. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say you failed. So, Rena, what are you saying right now? Well, I want you to realize this, y'all. Anybody who has came upon you, anybody who has came in your life, Anybody who has uh, attempted to destroy you, they failed tremendously, y'all. Okay? And see, what really do it for a person is when they realize they tried to take down a good person. Oh, yeah. When you try to take down God's people, you won't have to pay for that. When you try to touch God's anointing, you won't have to pay for that. And so what I want you to realize is, y'all, they failed tremendously. And so what that does is that make a person think about, man... They still stood tall. Man, they got through it. Man, I tried to hold them back, but how it can't be, right? And so what I want you to realize is, is they failed tremendously, and now they are beating themselves up because you still standing. So, y'all, right here in Psalm chapter 63, verse 9 through 10, it states right here, it says, But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. That shall be a portion for jackals, right? Let me say it one more time, louder, for the chosen ones in the back. Listen, y'all. But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. What is this scripture saying right now, Reno? Listen, y'all. Those who are seeking to destroy you will be destroyed themselves, right? Those who are seeking to destroy you will be destroyed themselves. Somebody drop in the comments and say, you failed once again, all right? And so all I'm simply saying, y'all, is this right here. You got to realize that not only does it say this in the scripture, but they're showing you through their actions that they are beating themselves up over what they've done to you, okay? This could be years ago, months ago, right? Weeks ago, days ago, okay? But understand this, y'all. One thing about this, one thing about the spirit, y'all, the spirit is strong. 
Okay? I'm going to just say that one more time, y'all. The spirit is strong. And so when that spirit is on somebody, they have no choice but to feel what they have done onto you. They have no choice but to feel their wrongdoing. They have no choice but to feel your spirit. And so all I'm simply saying, y'all, is this right here. They regret it, okay? And they are devastated, all right? And don't think otherwise, y'all. They are definitely devastated and beating themselves up over what they did to you. Now, we're going to move on, y'all, to number four. You gave them an opportunity and they messed up, all right? Let me say it one more time, louder, for the chosen ones in the back. Listen, y'all, you gave them an opportunity and they messed up. I'm going to use a perfect example for this, y'all. I hate that I got to brand this up, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because it's a part of my story, y'all. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, in my ex situation, y'all, my ex-wife, um, I'm not going to give y'all a long story. I'm going to make this short and brief. But with my ex-wife, y'all, um, and for y'all who don't know, I came from Douglas, Georgia. I'm sure y'all probably know, but I came from Douglas, Georgia, whatever, whatever. And I came here to go to college. I decided to stay in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, I was at a crossroad, y'all. I could have got my own place, did my own thing, or I could have brought my, you know, my childhood, well, not necessarily childhood, kind of childhood, high school sweetheart up here with me, okay? And I said, you know what, what am I going to do? I'm a good-hearted person. I'm the type of person who, I'm loyal, y'all, okay? I'm loyal. If you're loyal, drop in the comments and say loyalty. But I'm loyal. And I said, you know what, I'm going to bring up here. And so when I did... It was one of the worst and best decisions I ever made. But why is that, Reno? Well, it's because she betrayed me, okay? Adultery got involved, and long story short, she messed up the opportunity. She messed up. I'm not saying that I'm the end-all, be-all, but I don't know too many men moving women up, right? Leveling their lives up, marrying them, changing their addresses, and making them the Well, investing into the mindset, investing into who they are as a woman, right? I don't know too many men doing that, okay? And so what are you saying right now, Reno? She messed up the opportunity. She messed up. And so what that does to a person is, especially when you don't give them clarity, uh, what that does to a person is, that leaves them devastated because they know they are the ones who did wrong. They know they are the ones who messed up, all right? And so what I'm simply telling you is, that's the same thing with your situation. Okay, maybe it wasn't a man, maybe it wasn't a woman, or maybe it was. But whoever you gave that opportunity to, they are beating themselves up right now because they messed up. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say you messed up. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say you messed up. All right. And so all I'm simply saying is chosen ones is this right here. You got to realize that they are beating themselves up right now. Okay, and they are devastated for the things that they have done to you. All right, now moving forward, y'all, we're going to get to the last one, which is number five. Okay, so the fifth sign that they are beating themselves up over what they did to you is going to be this, y'all. They are afraid of what you're going to say. Yes, sir. Let me say it one more time. Louder for the people in the back. Listen, y'all, they are afraid of what you're going to say. Now, really, what does that mean? They are afraid that you are going to expose the truth. Oh, yeah. They don't want to be exposed, y'all. See, the thing is with wrongdoers and unrighteous people, they want to do the wrongdoing. They want to be unrighteous, but they don't want it to be exposed. Oh, no, they don't want it to be exposed, y'all. They want to keep it on the hush-hush. But see, I got a scripture for them, y'all. What was done in the dark shall come to the light. Yes, sir. What was done in the dark shall come to the light. Meaning, that thing that you did to me that was wrong up under the table, it's going to come out to the light. Whether I expose it or not, somebody else may be the one that expose you. Somebody else may be the one that say, you know what? Nah, they wrong. They are manipulated. They are liars. They are cheating. It may not even be me. Okay? Because once again, y'all, God say, vengeance is mine. Okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, vengeance is the Lord's. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say, vengeance is it's the Lord's. Okay, so maybe it won't be you who exposed them, but somebody else will, y'all. I can guarantee you that. Somebody else going to show you. Somebody else is going to do all the things that you wanted to do. They're going to do what they do. And they're going to expose them as well. And so I want you to understand something, y'all. They're not getting away with murder. I know somebody sitting here on this on this video saying, man, you know, they got away with murder, man. They did me wrong, man. They did me bad. Down bad. 
All right, but I got news for you, y'all. Listen, that's only for momentarily. That listen, y'all, nothing bad lasts forever. It don't rain on one man's field forever, y'all. Okay, that rain got to be equally proportioned. That rain got to be equally distributed. Okay, which means your time is coming. But more importantly, those who done you wrong will have their time, y'all. Every dog got their day. And so what I want you to realize is they are beating themselves up right now. Why? Because they are afraid of what you're going to say. You know, they're trying to beat you to the punch, y'all. Even going back to the ex situation, um, I didn't even come out and say anything. She all on Facebook, all on, you know, Instagram, everywhere, y'all, just trying to paint this narrative, paint this picture. Oh, I did this, I did that. Y'all ever heard the term, uh, I hit dog with holler? See, that's what happened, y'all. I hit dog had holler. And so all I'm trying to get you to understand is you're going to know that they're beating themselves up because they're trying to get people to believe them. Or before you start exposing the truth, they're trying to tell people, they're trying to create this whole narrative, all right? But it won't happen. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I control the narrative. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say, I control the narrative. All right. And so we're going to do a recap on this, y'all. But I want you to realize something. They beating themselves up right now. And they are devastated. So the first sign, it's going to be this, y'all. They're trying to prove a point. The second sign, they can't look you in your face. The third sign, they failed tremendously. The fourth sign, you gave them an opportunity and they messed up. And the fifth sign, they are afraid of what you're going to do. Okay? And so I want you to understand that. Drop in the comments if you resonate with that as well. All right. And so with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video by saying this. They devastated, y'all. And they are beating themselves up over what they done to you. All right. So with that being said, y'all, y'all can check out any one of the links in my description. Check out any one of my books. That's Eight Steps to Self-Publishing, a successful book, Rich Mentality, Fairly Unequal, as well as Traumatized by Love. Also, be sure to check out any one of my memberships. That's my YouTube membership as well as my Patreon. And don't forget, be sure to enroll in the Social Influence course where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self-published author so you can leverage your expertise and position yourself as an expert in your field. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? If you want to leverage your expertise, okay, you got to publish your book. But not only that, if you want to get popping and build your community, you got to build up your social media platform. And so I put that all in one course, okay? And so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio, all right? And drop in the comments, social influence. If you want to build up your social influence, click that link in the bio and we're going to get you popping. Keep a rich mentality.